Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. There are many students who ask me on command how to make the jar file in Java. Jar file means an executable file in Java. Okay, there is a simple executable file. If you click on this one, and it, your project will be running. You can put it into your desktop or anything else. So I will made it here. This is the file, student management system. Okay, so simple. If you double click on this one, your software will be opening. Right, it's very simple. It's how to do the task. So here, this is the project. Whatever project you can make it. Okay, not this project. Whatever project you can make it. Okay. So first, what you are going to do after done the all the stuff. Okay, after done your all the stuff, what you are going to do here is go to the run. Okay, you can see here there will be the option clean and build the project. Okay, this is your what is the project name? Your project name is this. Okay, your project name is this. This project you can build it. Okay, clean and build the project. If you are click the option, the jar file will be screen created. Okay, this is source. You can be able to see the output. Okay, here clean and build. We are jar. This one should be uh, finishing. Okay, here finish the build jar. Okay, it will be finishing the jar. If you are select the output, you can see here the, the jar has been created. Java jar. Here all here building the jar. Here all the you can see here the compile. All stuff are there. If you are build clean and build the option. If you are clean and build the option, you can see here whatever what is there. Okay, here for the finally you are building the jar, run the application. So the jar will be created on this directory. We just copy this one, only the directory. Okay, this is the your executable file. We only select the folder only. So starting the C, this is the folder where your project is there. So just copy, go to right click, run, paste it, press enter key. You directly go to this directory. Here your project is there. Here, double click and open the or double click the executable file. You will be able to software. This is the executable file. Your executable file is created successfully. Okay, your executable file is created successfully. Now, you have idea to this file. You have to put into your desktop. So, how to put into your desktop? It's simple. Right click. Right click. You have to make it as a create shortcut. You have to make the option create shortcut. Its shortcut will be created. So you cut off this here, and where you have to put it, you will be able to paste it over here. Paste it. What you are going to do here is right click. This one I am going to make it as student, whatever student. Correct or anything else. Name it. Okay. Now, if you want to make the icon like this, okay. So it's simple. Select this one. Right click. Properties. You have to go go and change the change icon. Here, if you want to change any uh, any other icon, if you want to put it, this is the default icon in uh, Windows machine. If you install the default icon, here you are going to make it this one and click OK, apply, apply here. It, it will be make it here this icon. Okay, here your project is running. Okay, in this icon. So if you have to give the different uh, icon. If you have a project, you want to make your custom icon. There will be a side which is an icon converter. You just uh, you have to make the image as a Photoshop, and you have to convert the image as an icon, and you have to put it put it and run it. Okay, that is the things. Okay, after done your custom icon, here change icon. Here you browse and get it the your custom icon and import it here and click OK. Your project. Uh, your project icon has been changed as your custom icon. Okay, this is the step, very simple step. You have to make it as a jar file in your project. Okay, so uh, someone uh, student asked if you, if I have a database, what you are going to do is if you are put into another machines, it is also simple. What our database we have? If you have database, you have a MySQL. You go to the MySQL Zam server. There will be the import. Well, select your database. There is the import button. You have to import it. It coming as a simple file. Okay, that file you have to go to the, go to the you open your uh, another machines. You have to import it. That's the thing. That's the thing you have to you have to this icon you have to place it here. So it will be running. Very simple. Okay, it will be this executable file is ready. Now your software is ready. It's very simple stuff. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubt 
on this you can ask me anytime if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching